and who might have taken a moment to get organized or organize others. Your keen eye came out and you saw some changes needed to happen and let go of some emotional blockage. Maybe you used the full moon on Thursday to get this moving. This helped create balance in the daily routine of life. We also welcome Mercury Retrograde, <laughs> all it has to offer. <laughs> when looking at contracts, appointments, having any type of communication, verbal or written, take a second look, slow down, and make sure it's right. That is the lesson of Mercury Retrograde. This continues for three weeks, why Mercury makes its journey around this little loop. So, some feel this as a buzzing energy time to think and communicate. Actions come from this type of energy. You, your type of action depends on your chart and placement. Take a deep breath and allow yourself to use the energy towards what you seek. This week, we can feel some of the tension of our identity and purpose in life, finding a smoother transition. We will continue to have a back and forth conversation about who we are, how we present ourselves in this world, and what to do about it. Restrictions are being brought forward and we can adapt to them or transition out of them. Maybe look at learning something new, going out on your own or serving others. By Monday, we should be wrapping up some of these deep emotional contemplations about our routines and how we are operating now. If you are feeling restricted still, I suggest finding a way to work through the box. And the key here is in your past. Don't leave your past unhealed. It is what you keep, or I shouldn't say it is what you keep, I mean, it is what you keep, but it's what keeps you from moving forward potentially causing more heartache and dissatisfaction. We did a lot of thinking last week, and this week we are feeling it. What changed in your perspective? What did you identify that no longer served you? How did that identity conversation with yourself go? Where is an opportunity that you can see partnership this week with your one? For a few days, we might find some tension around this. All of our feelings and efforts on a new journey and path forward and who we are in this world. Open our moon to discussing matters of the heart through honesty and emotional integrity. This could be uncomfortable because the emotions are so deep and powerful. But speak your truth and it will be exchanged. It's time to let go of our fears and step out. Coming into Friday and our weekend, you will take the last few weeks and all these thoughts of what's been going on in action and step into seeking the meaning of life, our role in it, and a better understanding of the holistic and metaphysical and spiritual worlds. Maybe you take classes or have appointments with people in these fields to go deeper into your understanding of yourself. Maybe you take this time to expand on how you can help others and learn a practice. Or... You take the opportunity to explore other cultures and societies or even get a promotion at work. It's expansion, right? Try not to be restless with this energy and maybe satisfy these desires as best you can. Taking short classes, short trips, watch foreign films, or just reflect on all of it. It's a lot going on, folks. Take your time. Have a great week. Reach out if you need anything. You know how to reach us. 